Already, we do have a follow-up to the situation I was talking about yesterday, wherein Wizards of the Coast was issuing a copyright strike to Jordan over on his channel here on YouTube, and um, also taking some action, or at least being a little bit strong-armed about the content previews that other people were showing in their YouTube videos. So basically, what it sounds like is Wizards of the Coast has now released the copyright strike on Jordan's channel. And it sounds like there's a bit of confusion and miscommunication going on between either Wizards of the Coast and a PR group or that PR group and their lawyers or the lawyers and Wizards of the Coast. Somebody was over eager and did something that could have really affected the livelihood of a content creator here on YouTube. While I'm happy that the copyright strike was removed from Jordan's channel, I do want to actually mention or at least kind of read through a uh, correspondence that was had with Wizards of the Coast and another content creator regarding the embargoes here, just so you all can get kind of an idea for how confusing some of this was, because this email right here is what this content creator told me led to them thinking they could, I guess, review it in the way that they did. And by the way, I've been given permission to uh, go over this email. So thank you for checking in and we appreciate the follow up and we appreciate the note on flip throughs. After the embargo releases right at August 1st, 2024 at 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, you're free to cover the contents inside of the book how you would like, with the only exception being re-uploading full page copies, basically abiding by standard fair use. Again, we really appreciate you checking back in with us. In response, this creator said, what I am looking for is clarification on what can be shown and talked about after the embargo on August 2nd and beyond. I'm not a fan of doing page by page flip throughs, although I have seen some creators doing exactly that with past books. Is that something that is permitted? Are we allowed to show artwork that has not been released by wizards? Are we allowed to show tables or blocks of paragraphs or spell list tables of contents, the index, or better yet, what specifically are we not allowed to show or talk about? I simply want to be in compliance with your guidelines. I'm just not entirely sure what the extent of those guidelines are and am looking for clarification after the embargo. Thank you. So to me, at the end of all of this right here, my big complaint is the fact that Wizards of the Coast doesn't really have this transparency. Things are confusing, which leads to headaches like this right here. This is the kind of drama that we see that erupts around Wizards of the Coast content, like literally every single time they keep dropping a book because of a lack of transparency, because of a lack of communication with their PR, because of X, Y, Z thing, whatever, we keep having these blowouts, right? I don't want to be a drama channel, but apparently if you're in the TTRPG like network or what the hell ever, and you're reporting on anything that Wizards of the Coast does, inevitably it's going to come down to reporting on scandal. So look, Watsi, I think one of the things that you could really do here if you want to start improving your image is like own up to this issue. All right, say straight up. In the last year, we've done some things that we're like, we are probably over litigious on this. We are probably really quick to like come down hard on a content creator for what we could more or less, you know, um, assume is our screw up here, right? In the future, whenever it comes to anything that we would consider to be a violation of copyright or something like that, we're going to work to communicate first with the creator instead of taking the action of punishing their channel, punishing their livelihood, right? Sending the Pinkertons after them, right? Sending lawyers, doing whatever, right? Try to communicate, okay? Try to have that transparency. Try to speak with people, okay? Because the fact that you aren't is causing all of this chaos. Unless it's the chaos that you want to keep making so that people keep talking about your stuff, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, so that wasn't the Pinkertons, I promise you. Uh, anyways, so at the end of all this, what I think is really the big thing to draw from this, um, it seems that there was a breakdown in communication going on somewhere at Wizards of the Coast, and someone decided to let the axe fall on the neck of a content creator here, which is still unacceptable in my opinion. Uh, I think that Wizards of the Coast could probably issue some kind of a statement apology to Jordan or whatever. Um, at the end of this day, though, like this is again, like many people said in the comment section of the last video, another thing in the long line of scandals and crap coming from Wizards of the Coast that just seems like they are a company that is out of touch with the community here. A lot of the problems that keep coming out from this company could easily be resolved if they would just like have an open line of dialogue, right? This right here, it, you know how like non-issue this would be if they would just release PDFs of their products? You know how much easy money that makes for them? Watsi, I just want to let you know, for the very little distribution you have to do about PDFs, people wouldn't pirate them as much if you made them easier to buy, okay? I'm just going to let you know that right now, right? You make them easier to buy, 
Are people going to get it for free? Yeah, sure. Maybe that's another fan. Okay. You all are big enough to where you can have that loss. Um, seeing as you all are having issues with distribution for translated versions of your game, right? Rather than keep making the books, why not make it to where like, cause I think it was like Portugal, right? Um, like you were no longer offering the Portuguese translation. Why not let the Portuguese translation exist as a PDF? You all are not having to, there's no overhead to that, right? Other than I guess server costs where you guys are sending this stuff out. This is how indie guys operate, okay? For basically pennies on the dollar for operation costs. Um, if you guys were offering the PDFs, it would be a lot easier. This could have been a really cool thing. You guys chose not to spin it into a really cool thing. Don't know what to say. Um, yeah, it could have just been a, like, oopsie poopsie. We're going to go ahead and just say like, well, if it's out there, what do you know? And not have had it turn into this. Um, anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this one. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I uh, hope you all are having a good day. And I will see you with a uh, cool video here very, very soon. Later.